hey guys what's up welcome back to a new video today i'm right here with a new suzuki s cross 2022 version and i have with me the new multimedia system 2022 version uh, this is the latest is from suzuki and i want to show you how easy it is to connect the android phone and also with the apple phone will work the same but right here i have with me my android s10 plus then you will need a cable to put it in inside the usb port that you find it down there after all you get the cable you put it here in the phone it's very simple just stick it in and then you will see on the screen will appear directly the android first of all this is the second time when i connect it and that's why it works so fast but first time when you connect it it will ask you here on your phone you want to access the android phone and uh, android car and stuff like that and yes yes next next and then directly on the screen will appear this map this is the first thing that will happen and the great part is that you have the google map all over the screen and you have this big screen right here uh, another thing that i notice is that it's very responsive this is a great thing i love the fact that it's incredible responsive then all you can do is just go to different places here that I have, uh, for example, in the map, and then loading the route, then press the route, and it will work the same as it works on the phone. It works really, really good. Also, you have voice command here, down here on the string wheel, if you pull it for a few seconds. Navigate to Paris. It should work. Right now, my internet, it's working really bad, and that's why it doesn't work, but usually it should work, guys. Anyway. You can go here to home on your home you have all those options charging map spotify even the facebook messenger uh, skype whatsapp wherever you have all the application that you have it on your phone you will have it also on this screen and it's great that you can see it all over the screen if you want to go back to the suzuki menu you press suzuki once and you go back to suzuki this is the suzuki here you have menu you have all that uh, multimedia stuff the new stuff are right here so if you want to find out more about that check out the full review i have a full review then if you want to go back you go here to settings you press this, this this by the way this is the settings of the uh of the navigation not the settings of the uh, android phone but yeah this is the way you do it guys it's very simple all you have to do is just go there also if you want to go back to home this is the home button here in the middle is the home button every time you press this button here you put your finger here actually it's not a button it's kind of a touch screen you put your finger there you go to the home screen this is the home screen on the home screen you can kind of customize what you like to see here and also you will find here the android the bluetooth the menu the settings the the menu again here if you press it right here you get to the menu of the multimedia also the home screen this is the home screen no and then here is also the home screen if you want to go back to android you press android and you go directly to the android things and also here is the menu to the android so it's very simple i just want to show you pretty fast the way it works my internet on the phone is not so good today i don't know why but keep in mind that it should work with voice command it should work with all that stuff that it works in every car and i love the fact that it's even more responsive than the normal navigation this is also super super cool anyway guys i hope it was useful the thing is that you have to use the cable it doesn't work without the cable so that's something to keep in mind i hope it was useful for you if you have questions ask me down below thank you very much for watching my videos and i hope it was useful see you soon guys bye